Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. In this video, I am going to explain you about a very interesting topic, dynamic cluster with the demo. Okay, so we all know about, we have a cluster feature in WebLogic where we can group the multiple servers together for high availability. But apart from that, uh, a dynamic cluster, which was introduced from 12.1.2 onwards of WebLogic uh, version, Okay, so we are going to see about what exactly dynamic cluster, what is the use of the dynamic cluster, and then with a demo, how it works. Now let us uh, recap with a normal WebLogic cluster. Okay, so normal WebLogic cluster also called a configured cluster. Okay, because we configured it manually, either from the uh, using certain scripts or maybe from the admin console. Okay, so what, how we define a normal WebLogic cluster is a WebLogic server cluster consists of multiple WebLogic server instances running simultaneously and working together to provide high availability that is called load balancing, failure, scalability, and reliability. Right. So this is the concept for high availability where we need my, our applications to be up and running 24 cross 7, right, with high availability features, right? So we create multiple managed servers and then we assign all the servers to a cluster and then we deploy the same application to all the managed servers in the cluster so that in case any of your managed server goes down, your application should be accessible from the other managed servers, right? And same, we can relate with the failure, scalability, and reliability as well. So failure in the sense, if your uh, session is connected with any one of the managed server, and if in between that get crash, then your session along with your session data get failure to some other server. Scalability is in the sense, if so today you have a load of 100 users and you have two managed servers are running, but tomorrow you may have 200 users. In that case, you need to scale your managed servers from two to four. So you can scale your uh, servers like right, uh, in the cluster and then reliability because you have a multiple servers are running, running running there. So you have a reliability of the services. So now we'll see what exactly is a dynamic cluster. So dynamic cluster is a new feature that was introduced in WebLogic 12.1.2, okay, which makes creating and managing WebLogic cluster really simple and quick. So one feature is that you can create your cluster and your managed servers within a cluster with this with simple and quickly. How we create it? In a normal WebLogic cluster, which is also called a configured cluster, you define managed server and add them to cluster, right? So what we do is when we have to create, uh, we need a new managed server, right? So uh, traditionally, we create a managed server from the console and then we assign it to the cluster. And then apart from that one, there are a lot of configuration parameters specific to each and every managed server, right? We, when we do a certain kind of a configurations for any uh, managed server, then we have to repeat the same configuration for each and every managed server. For example, if I'm going to uh, increase the stack thread max time from 600 default to 1200, then I have to do it for the each and every managed server, right? So in dynamic cluster, you select number of servers you want in cluster and server template you wish to assign to servers in the WebLogic dynamic cluster. So in this, in that sense, in dynamic cluster, you select number of servers. So in dynamic cluster, you don't need to create any of the managed servers manually, right? So you have you don't have to create any servers manually. You just need to give the number of servers that you want in your cluster. Okay, suppose that I'm creating a dynamic cluster and I I need two servers in my man, in my cluster. Okay, so when I'm creating my dynamic cluster, I will give the count number of server as two. And once your server is created, sorry, once your cluster is created, your number of managed server will also get created. Okay, if I have given the number of servers in the cluster two, then the servers will auto get will automatically get created. Okay, and servers are the part of a logic dynamic cluster will have properties taken from server template. So in that case, you are you don't because we haven't created the managed servers manually. Okay, so all the servers in a dynamic cluster created with the help of a server template. Okay, so there is a predefined template which will be created once you will create your dynamic cluster and all the configurations of your managed server will be taken from this server template. So after that, if you need to increase the managed server count, you just need to increase the number of count. Okay, and it will be get created automatically for you and all the managed server will get created with the help of server template. Okay, so this is a, a generic template for all of the managed servers that you will create in your cluster. Okay, and the better, the the, the best benefit apart from uh, uh, the next is that when you have to change any of the configurations or you can say about the attributes of your managed servers, then instead of changing it for each and every managed server, you have to just update in the server template configuration and it will get reflected for all of your managed servers. So we'll see that in next few screens. Okay, so during setup of dynamic cluster the administrators will set up the maximum number of server instances you will need to copy with peak float okay so this is how what i was saying that this is the configuration of screenshot of when you will create a dynamic cluster that you have to provide the number of dynamic servers so i have given two that means in that case once my uh, cluster is created 
it will automatically create two managed servers for me. So WebLogic will then create the different server instances based on the server templates and will replace the so-called calculated attributes during the creation. Okay, so that means the two managed servers will get created and based on a server template. So once you will create your dynamic cluster, it will create two managed servers because I have given the two as a number of count. And apart from that, it will create a server template as well. Okay, and your all the managed servers that you have currently or you are going to create in future will reflect or will use that server template. Okay, now conclusion and demo. So we'll see the demo now. Okay, but we, if we conclude the dynamic cluster, then WebLogic server support two type of clustering configurations, configured and dynamic. So one is the configured cluster, which we create manually. Okay, and then second is the dynamic cluster. So configured clusters are created by manually configurations, each individual managed server instances. So if, we, if it is a normal cluster, which is a configured cluster, also called as a configured cluster, you have to create the managed servers normal, manually, and then you have to update the, all the configurations to each and every server manually. In dynamic cluster, the managed server configurations are generated from a single share template. Okay, so if it is a dynamic cluster, the, all the managed server will be based on a single share template. And if you wanted to change the, any configuration of your managed server, which is shared across all of the managed servers, just change it in the server template and you don't need to modify every time in each every managed server configurations. With dynamic clusters, when additional server capacity is needed, new server instances can be added to the cluster without having to manually configure them individually. So I have given the count, count to my, I have two managed servers are running there in my dynamic cluster, but tomorrow if you want to one more managed server, then you have to just give the count as three, okay? Or maybe you, you can increase the count from two to three, okay? And your new managed server will get automatically created for you. Just, you just need to restart start them, okay? That I will show you in the demo, how to create that, okay? So now see my current architecture. What is my current architecture? So I have one admin server running in my domain, okay? And apart from that, I don't have any cluster and I don't have any server template, right? So this is a server template that will get created when you will create the default, the dynamic, cluster okay so i don't i have one admin server is running i don't have any managed servers and i don't have any server template and i do not have any cluster as of now now you can go to create a dynamic cluster log into your admin console click on clusters and after that you click on your dynamic cluster okay and then once you will click on your cluster configurations on, on your admin console just click on new okay so once you will click on you you will see two options one is a cluster second is dynamic cluster so cluster is the default uh, generic uh, cluster Okay, and because we are going to create the dynamic cluster, so select the dynamic cluster option here, right? After that, you can give the name to a dynamic cluster and then you have to select the messaging mode. So messaging mode, you can select the default uh, unicast, okay? And then it will take automatically take the uh, default multicast, add and multicast port for your dynamic cluster. The next configuration where I have to give the dynamic cluster size, okay? This is the size that uh, how many managed servers I need in my this particular cluster. So I have given as two because I want two many servers to be in my dynamic clusters. And max dynamic cluster size is the, the maximum number of clusters that can be configured or created in this particular dynamic cluster. So I have given eight. Okay, so maximum eight servers, many servers I can create in this particular domain. But at a time when I will create my domain, my cluster, okay, it will create two many servers because I have given the dynamic cluster size as two. Right, now you have to specify the prefix, okay? So prefix is that when it will create the managed server for you, okay? Then in with the name of managed server, it will add this particular prefix, demo dynamic cluster hyphen and then server name, okay? This is the prefix for your managed server that it will create for you, okay? Then next is use any machine configured in this domain, then how you wanted to assign machine for to your managed server. So it will take out, it, it take the configuration automatically. If I have two managed servers I'm creating, and if I have, and wanted to create two, all two in two different machines, or maybe I, if I have configured two machines in my domain, then I'm creating two managed servers, then it will automatically assign one managed server to each machine. So if I have four money machines defined in my domain and I'm creating four managed servers, then it will automatically take four managed server and it will assign one by one to each and every machine so if i have only one single machine then by default it will assign all the managed server to that particular single machine and if you wanted to assign it manually then you can select that option as well right then next is the assign each dynamic server unique listen port this is a port binding so how the managed server port going to be defined there because in manual cluster when we create the manual manual managed servers then we specify the ports manually right but here what i'm saying is that it will create the cluster uh, managed servers automatically for you that means it is creating every configurations by itself so it will automatically assign the port as well to your managed servers, okay? So when you will select the first option, which is assign each dynamic server unique listen port, okay? Then base listen port would be 7100, okay? This is the non-SSL port that generally we define to managed servers, okay? And so by default, it will start from 71000, okay? So that means 
the port number that will assign to my manage server one will be 7100. And because I have two managed servers, then to second managed server, it will automatically assign the port in incremental way. That will be 7101. Similarly, if you have more managed server, it will automatically assign 7102 and 3 and 4 and so on. Okay, and similarly, you can define the SSL and other base admin port as well. Otherwise, you can let the SSL and base admin port default and just list, focus on the base listen port. Okay, and assign each dynamic server fixed listen port. If you wanted to assign a fixed port, then you can select that particular option as well. Now, on the next screen, you can review the dynamic configurations, whatever you have given so far within the configurations. Okay, once all good, you can click on finish. Then you will see that a dynamic cluster is created. In my case, the name is demo dynamic cluster. And the servers that are assigned to the uh, to the cluster are uh, demo dynamic cluster hyphen one and then hyphen two. And demo dynamic cluster was the prefix that I have given during the creation of my dynamic cluster. Okay, so servers. Uh, so 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 now we have what we have done. We have created a dynamic cluster. So no restarts are needed after creating the cluster. And now when you go to the servers tab. Okay, then you will see that two managed servers are get created automatically for you. One with the name demo, demo dynamic cluster hyphen one and second is demo dynamic cluster hyphen two. Right. And then you see the port, the default port, listen port is 7101 and 7102 because we had given the uh, uh, the initial port number for, for dynamic cluster is 7100. So it has assigned the uh, port 7101 to my first managed server and 7102 to my second managed server. If you have more than that managed servers, it will automatically assign it 7103, 7104 and so on. Now go to server templates option. Okay. And there you will see a template also get created. And, and the same prefix, whatever we have given, it is also embedded or added to the template name as well. Okay, the same prefix demo dynamic cluster was assigned to my managed servers as well and same assigned to my template as well. Okay, so this is to segregate like if we have multiple managed servers, multiple dynamic clusters, then they will be based on the template. So with the prefix, you can <clears throat> understand which template is assigned to which particular dynamic clusters or which managed server is also uh, actually belong to a particular server template. Okay, so this is my demo dynamic server template. Now click on your template name. <clears throat> Okay, then it will show a lot of configurations and this configuration, as I said, will be the same for all managed servers because it is created with the help of dynamic cluster and based on this particular server template. So whatever configuration that I will modify here inside my server template, it will get reflected for each and every managed servers. That means you don't need to change it for each and every managed servers like we do in the uh, normal case of clusters when we create the cluster and managed servers manually. Okay, for example, in this screen, if I go to server start tab and then if, if I assign some argument here like the heap size or any other parameters, okay, and if you save this one, this will get reflected for each and every server. Similarly, if you go to health monitoring in, inside the server template and if you modify the uh, any parameters like if you wanted to enable the auto kill if your server gets failed, you wanted to enable the auto restart of your server, you wanted to modify the health check intervals, okay, <clears throat> whatever the modification that you will be do here, it will be reflected for each and every managed server. And similarly, if, if you go to inside overlay tab and you mod do the modifications of your um, any work manager uh, capacity or failure actions, or maybe if you are modifying the server stack time, it is 600 default to 1200 or 1800 or whatever the value, okay? So this value will get reflected for each and every managed servers because this template is particularly is assigned to a dynamic cluster and inside dynamic cluster, whatever the managed servers are there are based on this particular template. So all the configurations will be reflected to each and every managed server. So now you see that I have two dynamic clusters are created. I will start the managed servers, okay? And now I have two managed servers. Now again, suppose that I wanted to have two more managed servers. I want my uh, four managed servers in my cluster, okay? So just click on your cluster name and then inside the cluster name configurations and servers tab, inside servers tab, you have a option called dynamic cluster size. So initially when I had created my cluster, I had given the two. Now I will enter the four. I will modify this value to four because I need two more managed servers in my cluster, right? So I have updated the dynamic cluster size to four and then I have clicked, okay? So no restarts are necessary and the settings are updated successfully. That means it created two managed servers automatically, two more for you. Now go to your servers tab and then you will see that two more managed servers are created with the name hyphen three and hyphen four and the port has incremented 7103-7104. And this is, see how quick it is. You can create the managed server easily within a seconds of frame of time and all the, all, all the servers will be based on a single server template. That means the, all the servers will always been running with a same set of configurations because in managed clusters, sometimes it has happened that we have modified the value for some one of the managed servers, but we forgot it for some other servers that can create a certain kind of a problems with the applications, but here, it will ensure that each and every managed server is running 
using the same set of configurations, right? Now you can start your REST 2 minute server as well. So now you have two many servers are running in your cluster, right? Again, if you want to scale down, okay, sometimes you think that, okay, now uh, I want to scale down my managed servers from four to three or three to uh, two. Okay, again, you go back to your servers configuration tab, click on servers, and then it was, initially it was the value four. Now again, go back and do it two. Okay, but before that, make sure because you are going to scale down two many servers to shut down your server three and four. Okay, and once you will shut down your servers, then change the size of your dynamic cluster to two, save it, and again, go back to your servers tab, and you will see that only two many servers are there, right, and the two get deleted. So this is all about dynamic clusters, and thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos.